Uh, beep, 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 beep. Oh yeah, morning. Welcome to the court with the EGI Jester. Uh, go on, subscribe. Do it. Become a Jesterite. Join. Join the club. <laughs> Come and join our little community. Um, other than that, buy me a coffee, warrior t-shirt, blah, blah, blah. Hello. Hello, hello. What we got today? Police. Let's do the police. Let's do some law, right? Or in this case, the police. Um, I think it's important to mention, you know, that people always threaten us with the police. Don't we get threatened, don't we? Well, I'll, I'll report them, I'll report them. Oh, well, I think to those individuals who may be shortly, shortly finding out um, that attempting to pervert the course of justice by producing false allegations is a very serious crime. Well, so I've just been told. <laughs> so, um, other than that, let's talk about <clears throat> We Are Fair Cop. Now, um, some of you may know, um, the majority of I'm hoping, will already know who We Are Fair Cop are. Um, work there in that particular organisation being done by Sarah of the Fillimore, right, and Harry of the Miller, right, okay, who have been doing great work in holding the police to account for their mendacious wokery. So the police, you know, do something wrong, they go, we are fair cop, go, yeah, not having that. Let's start the process. So they pr provided a phenomenal service to many of us and something that is greatly needed across society. Um, to ensure that the police are held to account when they get involved with the look of a cute nut jobs, right? That's what's been happening with them. Now, there was one police political... Poli <laughs> there was one individual, right, called PC Watson, okay, who had been causing problems for um, We Are Fair Cop for quite some time, was behaving in a manner most unbecoming for a member of the constabulary for them to be a policeman and to have those standards of the police that we expect from them as a police force that actually is um, only able to operate with our permission, right? So they, we consent to allow them to do it. It's not like other countries where they're like, they're like an arm of the state. We, they, we consent for the police to operate. So it's important that they maintain standards that the public expects them to do so. PC Watson did not do said thing. Right, PC Watson, okay. Um, so I've got some stuff here from We Are Fair Cop. <clears throat> I'll put the link in the dubers. This is from their Twitter feed. But I, it's worthwhile um, letting you know what this person was up to, who has now been sum summarily dismissed without notice. <laughs> ah, they don't like it up them. As I constantly say, it's my favourite saying at the moment, because they're getting it up them so much, isn't it? PC Watson by numbers, it says here in this post from We Are Fair Cop, um, which went out uh, just a couple of days ago. So it's not, you know, it's not too old, it's too far back. Let's start with some figures. So they've got some figures about what PC Watson got up to. Okay. Um, 1,200 tweets directed at Harry. 1,200 tweets directed at Harry Miller. 3,000 retweets directed at Harry. 3,000. <laughs> and was active for 18 months despite contacting and saying, look, this, there's something terribly wrong here. And the police did. Zilch. For 18 months. Uh, there were 60 reports made about Harry to the anti-terrorist unit by this nut job. Well, 60. It took five weeks for Leicester Police to admit Watson was its officer. They wouldn't even say that Watson was its officer. Who's putting the strings? It then took 18 months for Leicestershire to do anything about it. There was one arrest of Watson, just the one, after all the things he'd done, right? There was zero days of suspension following that arrest. There was zero criminal charges brought by the CPS. And there was one sacking. One of the many deranged accusations made by PC Watson was that Faircop if you met Harry and Sarah, right, okay? They're both scrappers, right? Admittedly, they are, you, you, don't go there, right? No, right, who am I going to go at? No, it's Harry and Sarah. Oh, right, where's the toilet? <laughs> don't go there, right? So these are, they're scrappers. Don't pretend they're not, because they are, right? They will do things and they will get it done, which is exactly the kind of people that we need in our movement. So, you know, I'm glad to know both of them and I'm glad that they're both involved. So PC Watson claimed he had evidence of, uh, that um, it's just insane. It's so deranged, right? One of his deranged accusations <clears throat> was that Faircop is an international terrorist organisation, aided the 
aided and aided and abetted by the Home Secretary. <sighs> An international terrorist organization aided and abetted by the Home Secretary. Apparently, we were responsible for a shooting in Colorado, says Harry. Because we are fair cop, right? And Leicestershire Police did nothing. It's surreal. PC Watson claimed he had evidence of perjury in the Miller case and that it could soon be overturned. He also claimed he had evidence that Harry had committed blackmail. Which is all news to us, says we are fair cop. So when Harry had his case in court, you know, about retweeting that limerick and, and the, the right to free speech, which has now been enshrined in this particular way in Harry's Harry Miller's case, you can find information online. Um, this lunatic said that it, there was perjury and it was going to be overturned. This is a narcissistic, nutjob, subclinical psycho, in it, in it, in it. Psychiatrist, any psychologist in the room? Oh no, it's just me. Right, it's a subclinical psychopath, I think. That doesn't mean he's under the hospital. It means he's not a clinical psychopath, right? Subclinical psychopath. You're right down there, you lot. No. <laughs> right. So, this PC Watson also threatened Talk TV with legal action uh, if it allowed Harry to mention him. Watson also contacted LBC, GB News, the BBC, and bizarrely, Louis Theroux. <laughs> ah, Watson, you wanker. Right, Louis Theroux, with his conspiracy theories and or threats of litigation. Leicestershire police refused to confirm that Watson was its officer. It took them five weeks. They lied to hide him. Then, once they could deny no longer, they advised him to set up sock accounts to continue his campaign of harassment. This was confirmed, this was confirmed by the tribunal. Right, look, we've had to name you. We've, they've asked who you are. We've said that you work for, here's what you need, right? You need to set up some sock accounts. What's that? It doesn't involve m &S. All you've got to do is... <laughs> the police, Aiden. Oh, I just, you think, okay, I mean, ha, oh, ha, right. It's just insane, right? Next, although we are cop great threat here. PC Watson claimed that Harry was a record of has a record of assaulting women to the to women and has a record of assaulting women. To the end, he doctored photographs and reposted them. Right, you can see all this, all right, on the thread. Go and have go and have a look, because it truly is um, the most extraordinary example of not just a nut job, right, that needed to be dealt with. How you doing, Watson? You have <laughs> nutter, nutter, right? Not just him, who's obviously completely away with the bloody fairies and needs help, right? In the form of a big boot up his bottom, probably, right? But it, it, it's the it's the sort of the relationship between him and his employer who then set up, set up a sock account. You'll be all right. Just you can set those up and then you can have a go and nobody will know it's you. The tribunal confirmed it. Now, I suspect, and I'm sure I will be proved right by this, that there will be a follow-up FOI, <laughs> Freedom of Information Request, and there'll be more action taken to find out exactly who it was in the Police that said that was a good idea. How far up does it, how, how far does this rock go? How far up Leicester Police so that you look up at you? Plus nutters, right? I, the Royal College of Policing, shut it. Should have been all over this. But they're not. They're completely captured by Stonewall and all the other cobblers, so. Come see, come saw, come as you are. <laughs> anyway, go and have a look at the tweets. They're in there. Subscribe, become a just right warrior teacher, usual stuff. Listen, folks, go and have a great day, all right? This bloody cold's going to be the end of me. I'll see you later. Ta-ra!